Hi, I can't wait for this video to be horrifically out of focus and horrifically dark. Yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, I thought today, since like one person said, maybe I should do a room tour because people care about my personal life that much. I don't want to see just shit posts, do you? So, as you try and specifically focus on this eyebrow because it's not as bad as this one, I will take you around my room of trash and you can see how much I can buy on £5.60 an hour and all that filthy YouTube money. Yeah! Anyway, so I'm gonna start on my little uh, shelving that I bought a few months ago only because I never actually had shelves before but I was just like, yeah, we're gonna get a shelf because I have too much little shit that I need to put up because there was no room elsewhere, so I thought, bam, let's put a shelf up. So I'm gonna stand up on here. This is paint that's supposed to go on my wall, but um, that happened like a year ago and I never got around to actually decorating the room, so let's just say it's never gonna get done. So a lot of things in this room are gonna be super fucking dusty. We're gonna try and get past that, okay? So I'm just standing on my bed. Good stuff. So here we have Drogon from Game of Thrones. It's actually a Titan exclusive figure. I picked this up from um, Forbidden Planet a few months ago and it was great. I loved it. There's a funny story behind this one. I don't want to get into anecdotes about everything. Basically, some guy was putting out a display of these things and I took one off of them and he was like, oh no, why are you stealing them? And I was like, ha, because it's awesome. All of these little bits on him glow in the dark as well. So if there's any Game of Thrones fans, Drogon's amazing. Um, I've got my Nathan Drake ring, which I absolutely adore. It's probably one of my favorite collectibles. I've got a few of these things. I'm just gonna call this Reuben even though it's it's not, it's just some shit from some shit. Got the Marvel side of things, we've got this really... Uh, I have no idea what's going on with his face. Like no one knows. No one knows what's happening in the Captain America here. We got Vision and then Deadpool the bobbly thingy with loads of dust in it because oh my god. Ignore that. Go away. <laughs> and we've got our um Bender and Fry Mopies. I actually got these from the Skybound Mystery Box a few years ago. Yeah, I got these from the Skybound Mystery Box a few years ago. So you've got Rick and Mark Grayson from Invincible. Uh, they're glow in the dark as well. Oh, they're not. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can see them. Uh, then we got Star Lord. It's the only pop figure I have that doesn't actually have a box. And then Gamora with the Rock Candy Funko Pop. Um, Invincible pin, EGX pin. I don't know, some Cartoon Network ones, we've got all the Steven Universe uh, mystery minis in the middle. Ed's World, uh, this Paradox that I got from some eyes, the Comic Con, EGX, Stranger Things, Things, and Borderlands, and this pin that my friend got me because she's amazing, thank you, and <laughs> this is a Lego figure of one of my characters if you ever read my trashy fanfiction. This is Josh. Then up here we've got my first ever um, Pop Funko Chase figure. So that's the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. So it's actually a variant if you don't know what a Chase figure is. We've got a vinyl from the best band ever and the best EP, Thanks Sorry Sure, by McCafferty. We've got a, uh, a Mammoth and a Steven Universe lunchbox. Which is really cool and I got it from a mystery box at Comic Con. Then over here, because I'm absolute trash and I love my stories, I have um, some dog tags that I got personalised for one of my characters, which is really fucking sad. And over here we've got a poster of Sasha that um, my friend got me a few years ago from Redbubble. So yeah, I don't know who- oh god, I'm falling off of the bed. I don't know who did this. This design is on Redbubble if you wanted to check it out. I have no idea where it is because I didn't buy it, so I, I don't know. Then here we have some other art that I grabbed from uh, Comic-Con earlier on this year. Uh, it's something I really like, so I picked it up. Uh, I have actually got... Hold the phone. Wait, is this... What that hairband? Is this the person? Yes. This is the person that did Lee's. If you want to check them out, do that. Here's an outdated MCM code. I don't know why I still have their business card in my room. Go and see them designs because they're awesome. Then over here we have my New York bed sheet because I love New York even though I've never been. Just kidding, it was in a sale so I brought it. I made this pillow case cover thing on Redbubble. It's also about my story because I'm fucking sad. Then we have my trusty nightstand. No, <laughs> I'm too cheap to actually buy a real um, nightstand so I 
got the Uncharted, the, the limited edition Uncharted box and yes I use that as a nightstand and that's not the right time and there's some earplugs because I hate hearing people whilst I sleep. This is my ukulele if anyone was wondering. It's a Carla KAC. I don't know much about it other than it plays really nice and it's like the most amazing thing ever. Um, also down here I have a Stag Melodica. Everyone's like what the hell is a Melodica? It's basically this thing. It's like a trumpet piano. I'll just leave it at that. Also down here is a steady cam that I was gonna use, but then never really have. Oh, and there's a hole in my carpet. Ta-da! Then up here we have some antibacterial hand gel. I'll get to that in a minute. We've got Shane Dawson's autobiography, because why not? Um, there's some other books about depression and shit. Some Steven Universe playing cards. Some screwdrivers, because I like to screw things. Some Steven Universe art prints. I have no idea who did these. But it was a couple of years ago that I went to Comic Con and grabbed them, so I'm not quite sure on that one. Then we have some other books, obviously The Walking Dead stuff and some other stuff and lots about Bonnie and Clyde because I like stuff like that because I'm a fucking weirdo. And then of course we have Lizard Cocaine because I'll get to that in a minute. Then a Bojack Horseman thing and a tiny little neck sticker I've had for about three years now. A peanut van box I guess. A camera and soap that I stole from a hotel. Shush. And of course my Fitbit because I wanted to get fit a bit. Now over here is why I have lizard cocaine. Oh look it's me. Hi. Um, this my friends. This is Aiden. He is named after Ellen Pages. I don't know whatever it was in Beyond Two Souls. He hates me. All of the other geckos in the adverts and stuff smile but Aiden hates me. <laughs> Fuck you. Get out of my face. Hiya. I won't bother you anymore. I just wanted to show the good people of the world. You. Aiden. Bye buddy. <laughs> He's just like, I'm so fed up of your shit. Now here we have loads and loads of pop figures. Boosh. But yeah, here you go. I'm not gonna like stop on all of them because I really cannot be bothered. Um. I haven't got very many sets, I've tried to complete a Stranger Things one, but I'm still like halfway through, so I'm getting there. Um, the reason I stack them like this is because I haven't got enough room yet, I have got a few shelves coming up, which is what you'll find out in a minute. Um, basically I'm getting there, but there's still so many I want to get. Um, there's a few new ones that are coming out I'm super excited for, so that'll be good. Um, but yeah. That's like, for some unknown reason I collect them, they're trash, but it's all good! These are my comics and other books. <laughs> this is amazing, if you read The Walking Dead and you like the art, this is definitely the book to get. It's basically Charlie Adlard's sketches um, throughout all of All Out War before they've been like lined and coloured. And then now we've got some Steven Universe books, Deadpool, a load of image comics. But yeah, we've got one Fables here. I've actually read, uh, I think I've read about 70 issues of Fable, but I've only got one volume here. Here's some Pepsi Max. If Jesus was still around, um, he wouldn't be turning water into wine, he'd be turning water into this. Because this is just amazing. Anyway, here's all of my Walking Dead. I haven't actually caught up with the comics in a very long time, so Invincible is the best comic book ever and you should read it. And then there's some like spin-off series from Invincible and Super Dinosaur and the Un Art of Uncharted. These are the infamous caps. Uh, Steven Universe one, the infamous strawberry and a load of ones from EGX, a load of shit here as well. This is all of my YouTube money I've ever made in my career. Down here we have a load of my business cards that I've given out to like two people in my entire life so yeah that's that's great I don't know why I have so fucking many. Then down here we just have more dust and a load of CDs. Um, All, all of the, these are awesome. Look at all the Eminem albums I have. <laughs> Oh my god! I go to a lot of concerts and things, and I'm that one person that keeps all of my wristbands and things from Comic Con and uh, tickets from concerts and basically everywhere I go. Believe it or not, all of this is actually from Internet Friends. <laughs> Like, this, this is just all internet friend stuff that they've all sent me over the years, so thank you guys, you guys are awesome. Now over here we have more art from that person, my calendar that I'm getting rid of, and also the invincible print of my favourite cover from issue 1110. I mean, 1110? I mean, 1 
10. <laughs> then because I work in an outdoor store, I've got loads of outdoor crap. So I've got a bag and these are the shelves that I'm actually putting out. This is a bass guitar. <laughs> Some Another Vans box. Um, then I've got my graphics tablet. I can't draw for shit, but I don't know. It, it's fun to have and it's easy to edit with and all that jazz. There's a random box for some unknown reason. I have no idea why that's there. Do not question me. I'm gonna stand on the chair for the next bit and considering it leans back quite easily, I'm actually pretty afraid. But, oh god, Jesus. Um, <laughs> these are all of my deodorants because I smell funny. This is a, a Bluetooth speaker, I don't know. That's my, uh, that's the one I do all the crappy voices on. <laughs> I, yeah, it's a, oh god, I can't remember what it's called, a Rode, Rode NT-USB, I think, I think, I don't know. Then of course I have something that everyone needs, and then I have this really dusty shelf of old Walking Dead things that I haven't actually, like, added to my collection in years. So you've got Glenn from the TV show, Dwight, you've got, you've got this little bitch here, <laughs> you've got the governor, Jesus, uh, Rick Grimm's, Andrea, who's actually my favourite in the comics, but the TV show ruined her, so now I hate her. And then I may have mentioned the, um, um, I mean, the Skybound box earlier, the mystery box, and the 10th anniversary um, first issue came with it, so that's been up there for like three years now. Um, so the variant copy of issue 129, um, and this is a signed copy of issue 115 from Charlie Adlard, which is kind of similar to one that I gave away couple of months ago but yeah and then down here we just have loads of trash and drawing stuff and then then there's just some really crap games I've got like five copies of COD 4 so don't don't judge me for that stamps old PS3 games PS4 games loads of concerts I'm going to um, tickets from that um, <laughs> uncharted 4 dog tags I've got this is the most fantastic thing you'll see in your entire life if you like rooster teeth and you've ever seen Camp Camp, this is a platypus from Camp Camp. If you haven't seen Camp Camp, you should probably go and see it because it's pretty funny. It makes noises when you press it. Um, back here we have a psycho in a clam hat because why not? Up here we have all of the statues, so we've got um, Pagan Min from Uncharted. Uncharted? Uncharted? <laughs> Far Cry 4, we've got Rocket Raccoon, uh, Wrench, and Nathan Drake. Mr. Nathan Drake, we've got Marcus and Moxie and one of Michonne's zombies at the back, and it's still at the Dory. And we've got a few more things up here. Oh my god, it's a lonely sock. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. I'm the only one in the world who would have like a random Christmas sock on the floor, Jesus Christ. But yeah, and then up here I've just got all of the Borderlands lithograms from the, the limited edition collection. And a Reservoir Dogs print up there. Then a sticker that goes over my PlayStation 4, which is an Uncharted one. Oh my god, you might have thought I liked Uncharted or something. And then a book about information about my own book, because I need to keep track. And then whatever's behind the TV, oh my god. Oh my god. Hello darkness, my old friend. So yeah, that's basically the extent of everything. I don't really know what else to show unless you want to go for my drawers, but that would be a little bit weird. So yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.